Well, true to form, I said in the last video I wasn't going to cover too much of drilling holes in kegs. So, because there's been a little bit of interest on the Brewtube Facebook forum about the use of chassis punches, aka the Kumax cutters, I did cover a little bit of it in my Herms panel build, so I'm just going to throw a little bit in here of using one on the keg. I originally did have a little bit of doubt as to whether it would be man enough to pull through um, the thickness of a keg, but it does work on those also. So here we go for a quick snippet also on the keg drilling so far. I've got the set of three. They work. Uh, some better than others, but I'm going to try. I measured the keg lid and the steer was 1.2. 1.1, 1 .1, I can't remember now. Uh, Anyway, <laughs> it's on there somewhere. We bought another Qmax car. To see, it will speed up the process and reduce the amount of mess because there's obviously not as much drilling involved and therefore not as many burrs. Um, and you don't need to keep using cooling fluid to save them. I mean, I'm still going to have to use a whole cutter for some of the larger ones, but um, let's have a go and see what happens. Got the false bottom in there at the minute. Not that this is necessarily the one it will live in, but uh, they have a slight curvature on them, a domed shape. Now, actually, I was trying to get a little kink out of it, and it pinged the other way around, so it's um concave as rather than convex which actually it sits in the keg better that way obviously if you can see from the camera work that's going to be the outlet port connected to that if should this be the mash tun this is going to be the HLT but um, we just tried it in there and down there you can see all the uh, crap from the hole <coughs> or if you can if I've got the camera in the right place so Let's see what happens if we try a hole punch. Right, so what we've done so far, needed to centre punch it drilling vertically, but um, didn't have one, so we just used the uh, tape drill bit just to put a little indentation there to get the drill bit to grip. So we've gone through with the pilot, then we'll go through with a large enough drill bit to pass the screw fit So, I couldn't be asked to go down the shed and find me box full of drill bits. We went with the largest one we've got and that wasn't big enough for the screw. So we've used that. This one, so we've enlarged the hole big enough to get a stud through. Basically it's just a high tensile cap screw and you've got your thrust washer and your cutting head, if you haven't seen my other video on uh, my Herms panel build, I had another one of these. So we'll see. Let's go and uh, put it on and I'll show you how it all goes together. So you basically just four and screw it. If you can see the gap there, that would be your kettle wall where your stainless goes through. And those little pieces pull through and as you tighten they increase their way through against this one being on the outside. That's it all set up. Your main thrust washer on the outside. Now if we can pick it up, as I can't see. There we go. That's the cutting head on the back. So, let's see. Can't show you the actual boring bit. I'll have to come back to you because I need to hold both hands. I've only got my little tripod. Well, I thought we was going to have a bit of a talking issue there and maybe have to get some uh, more leverage on, but it done the classic four little cracks as the uh, teeth pull through. And uh, as you can see, one nice neat hole. No sharp edges. 
and you don't get a kettle full of stainless steel burrs. And it was, gee, I can't remember exactly, £11.69, sub £12 posted versus sort of 15 quid for a set of step drills plus your drills for pilot hole cutting and bloody blah, blah blah very neat easy and a light sight quicker than um, standing there for ages if you've ever used one of these in uh, steel they do work they work very well but they do tend to run around a little bit so you if you're on a painted surface they don't give you a very clean hole which is why I never use one of these on my Herms panel build I use one of the chassis punches they do the job but uh, quick clean and a lot quicker Qmax cutter wins well there we go quicks not a brilliant nut with that one but uh, we've got some more coming but why did I drill a hole in the top of the keg? So we're going to have a filling hole there rather than just fill it from a hose. It may connect it up to um, the automatic electronic water flow gauge, same as uh, Mark from Hover Docks got. So inside here, maybe, will be this stainless steel ball valve, which looks miraculously like the uh, Blickman Auto Sparge. Except it hasn't quite gotten a very deep outlet down there. So it might end up in the mash tub. Who knows. It has got the adjustable arm which some of them haven't got. Just needs changing for a stainless steel wing that to make life a little bit easier. We'll see when we get to that stage. Um, whether it was a worthwhile investment. Whether it will work as an auto sparge or whether it will just be the... Um, filling up ball valve well I'm on a bit of a roll here so I thought I'd keep flowing so we've um, drilled the hole for the element this element which you see uh, I don't know it was earlier in this video this is a, a damaged one that came from one of the old eBay traders that, uh, yeah, I thought it was going to sit a bit high, which it does on first impressions. You can't probably see from the perspective of the camera angle in, but um, if it was too low, then you would have a hell of a job getting the false bottom in. By the time you're hitting the sides of the peg, there's not a huge amount of clamps. It's about an inch once it's in, so um, yeah, I'm just going to make sure you got... Uh, Got your element covered before you flick the switch. But uh, yeah, well, mm. let me see. Might have been able to get a bit lower. Uh, the minute this is still uh, the HLT, but obviously at the state we are at the minute, it's exactly the same build process as uh, the boil kettle would be. Hmm. Yeah, I keep thinking while I'm doing this and having to think ahead just so uh, you don't balls it up or whatever. But um, fortunately, I have got a few backups if I did make a critical error. But um, we're happy so far. Tune in for the next exciting instalment of How to Fack a Keg Up.